Okay, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Raka Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and honors and salutations to the elect Akim, doing these works in sincerity and in truth. <clears throat> Right, man. So in this lesson, I'm going to get into um, how, you know, for Esau, there's nothing else to do but just to admit it, you know. And um, <laughs> you have the brother, um, you have the brothers out there in um, Boston who the Edomite actually admitted, admitted it, you know. And. She actually admitted it, man. She said, well, guess what? Edomites rule the world, bitches. You know, which I'm sure brother's seen by now. So, she actually admitted it. And many, these Edomites are actually, they've been new. They're Edomites, man. All right? They try and uh, hide the fact. They try and uh, comfort themselves, like Vocab Malone. They try and come up with a doctrine to, yeah, like I said, comfort themselves, make them feel better. Like, no, no, I'm not. But look, at this point, there's nothing to do, nothing else for y'all to do but to just admit it. Okay? So kudos to that Edomite, to that Shedomite, that said it loud and proud. That's what you're supposed to do, man. Right? Limitations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Okay? Let's check out Rejoice. See? Right? The Hebrew word, uh, sh shawash, it looks like. Shiyash. Salak, if I'm mistaken. It says, uh, to exalt, rejoice. To exalt, display joy. See? So, she displayed it. He said, guess what? You know, eating my through the world, bitches. See, she's displaying her joy. That's good. That's how they're supposed to be. A primitive root to be bright, that is cheerful, be glad, greatly, joy, make mirth, and rejoice. See that? So, hey, display it. Be loud and proud about it. And be glad. O daughter of Edom that dwells in the land of us. See, it says, The cup also shall pass through unto thee. See, thou, thou, thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. Right, so rejoice while you got time. That's what it is. Okay, because um, Isaiah 26 and 10. Let favor be showed to the wicked. And who's the wicked? Esau, Edom. You so-called white people. You can't get rights. And that's based off of what? And notice how we do. We get scriptures to back everything up. We're not just talking. You know, we're not just talking, man. We're, we're using the scriptures. Okay, to prove unto you. That you are the wicked. To, to show you. The mindset of Yahweh Shema Shai, what he's thinking, what he's gonna do to you. We're just the mouthpiece. Right? So Malachi 1 and 4, just to prove to you who's the wicked. Whereas Edom saith, right? Edom. And by now we know that Edom are you so-called white people, even as she said, Yeah, I'm an Edomite, and guess what? Edomite rule in the world, bitches. See? Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return. And built the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. They shall build. But I will throw down. And they shall call them. The border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord. Hath indignation forever. See that. So wherever you Edomites go. Wherever you set up shop. Say you just. You all packed up and said. Fuck it. We're going to move to. Uh, Texas. All so-called white people come move to Texas. Guess what? 
it will no longer be called Texas. It will be called the border of wickedness. Right? Meaning wherever you set up shop is the border of wickedness, man. You know, and right now, you know, you're all over. But your main place here is America. All right? But really, wherever you go is the border of wickedness. All right? Why? Because you're the wicked. So that's why scriptures say you got to read it precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Okay, Apostle Bar, like you, the, the lesson is like it's like a puzzle. You got to get each piece and bring it together. All right, so back in Isaiah twenty six and ten, now that we know who's the wicked, let favor be shown to the wicked. Yet will he not learn righteousness? In the land of uprightness, he will deal unjustly, and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. You see that? So, right now you're in your time of favor. You're shown favor. You, Lord saying, see what you're seeing. What you're gonna do, right? He gave you this rulership. He let you rule for this little season. You can do what you, you can do as you please. And what do you do? You continue to be the wicked man. That's why you just gotta rejoice while favor is being shown unto you. All right, because at this time, the cat is out the bag, man. We done. And through the apostle and others of the great millstone, like a, a watching, you know, the apostles' videos, we and, and, and it goes for all of us, we're not concerned with when if Esau shuts down, you know, the YouTube. The word already went out. Okay. Now, of course, while we're still able to do the works. Our big brother Howard Shah said it best. You know, work while it is day. For the night cometh when no man can work. So, hey, to your Howard Bashar Shah, we still appreciate that, you know, YouTube is still up and that we can still do videos so we can continue to pump out as many as we can in sincerity and the truth so that we can continue to build and grow and that we can also watch each other's videos to build us up. You know, but at the end of the day, brothers is good, man. If Esau wanted to shut YouTube down today. The word already went out. All right. That's why, man, you know, brothers don't even care. <laughs> do what you got to do, man. It's already known that you're Edomites, that we're the children. We already got the plans from your Habash Masha. I already know what's good. Okay. So back in Lamentations 4 and 21, rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwells in the land of us. All right. You're, you're in your time of favor. You're in your time of rulership. Just be happy, man. Just submit it. Don't spend your last days, you know, uh, crying and <laughs> crying and, and, and this and that and trying to duck and dodge being an Edomite. You're wasting your time. See, this Bible is bad, man. This is this scripture goes to show you that this show, man. Hold real quick, that, yo. The Lord is the Lord is bad, man. To be feared. This go this this scripture aligns with this scripture right here, James two and thirteen, for he shall have judgment without mercy. That hath showed no mercy, and mercy rejoiceth against judgment. Right, and that goes, and that makes me think of uh, the parable with Lazarus. Okay, about the, the 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 rich man. When it's time for him to go into hell, he's gonna ask for just a drop, a drop of water, and he ain't gonna be even given that. Meaning, what? He's not gonna be giving any mercy. He's gonna ask for a, just a little mercy. You know, and he's not gonna get it. And that's bad, man. So there's nothing you Edomites can do but just admit it and rejoice and be glad. You could try and kiss. You could try and uh, kiss up to us, man. Kiss our boots. Kiss the bottom of our boots. Lick our boots. Man, I ain't doing nothing. 
There's nothing you can do. Because there will be no mercy unto you Edomites. Read the Zanzivan Bible Dictionary. That's scary, man. It is scary to be an Edomite. <laughs> Just rejoice and be glad. That's crazy, man. It sucks to be an Edomite. Verse 22. And there's such of a devil. There's such of a, a there's such of a demonic nation that they're gonna try and go out with a bang. They're gonna try and kill as many Jake as they can. And the plot twist is the Lord's gonna allow it. Because two thirds is wicked anyway. But you ain't gonna touch the elect, man. Okay? So verse 22. The punishment of I and iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. And you know this ain't talking about today, cause we in captivity now. But the time is gonna come where captivity we ain't gonna, we're not even gonna know what it means no more, man. It says he will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins, and when he's gonna find out that your sins. Has reached unto the heavens. Okay. So I'm about to get about uh, one more scripture. Because there's nothing you Edomites could do. But just rejoice. Because guess what man. Everything is it, it's exposed as clear as day. You don't got to be a rocket scientist to see that you guys are Edomites. To see that we're the true Israelites. I remember, I remember years back, you had a Jake walked into the gas station, cursing you out, calling you an Edomite. Okay, Kodak Black, and he's a pure nigga, in and out of jail nigga. He knows where Israel, where Israelites. Everybody knows, man, because this is Nahum three, and thanks to who? Hey, man, to your Howbash and Mashai, and using us. Which we're gonna get a reward for, for his uh, 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 prophets going out there in the highways and byways, starting with the apostle and elders, of great millstone on down, in season and out of season, man. So that's 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 powerful, man. That's heavy, man. And that's why we're gonna become joint heirs with your house shy. <laughs> that's beautiful, man. That's why they wanna get us the f off the streets. That's why you gotta stay in the spirit. Esau's like, hey, I owe you motherfuckers one, man. So I like, excuse my language. I owe you mother effers one. For let uh we try to stay secret. Okay, Nahum three and five. Behold, I am against thee, save the Lord of hosts. Who Esau? Alright. Save the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face. See, and being as how you're a whore, you're a harlot. Most likely, you don't got no, no panties on, no bra on. Meaning now, when your skirt is on your face, everything's exposed. See that, and through the men of the Lord, through the apostles of the great millstone on down. And to this day, you know, but beginning with Abba Bivens and the elders, elders on down, I should say, Salakia, you know, Salakia, it, you're, you're, you're exposed, man. It's found out that you're Edomites, that you're the wicked, the most high hate you, that you tried to bury us of our nationality. Here it is, Yahweh Shemashai gave promises unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And, 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 and their remnants Okay And here it is You're trying to bury that promise That's disrespectful Right But now you're exposed You are exposed man It says And I will show the nations thy nakedness And the kingdoms thy shame So it's, it's shown It's shown that you're the Edomites And that you're the wicked 
And that's why there's nothing for you to do but just admit it and rejoice and have fun. Alright, so with that, I'm going to say Shalom.